Pick right, latches on the ball, shoots and scores! And Skinner has scored! Skinner ignores him, goes for goal! And scores! And welcome to Stream Television's coverage of Titusville Rockets soccer. The postseason continues for the Titusville Rockets. They are in Meadville to take on the Greenville Trojans this afternoon in an early afternoon ball game. Our coverage of Titusville Rockets soccer this season is brought to you by these great sponsors. State Farm Insurance, by Oil Creek Plastics, by Interstate Pipe and Supply, by Larry's Auto Service, by True Value Hardware, by Armstrong, by Anderson Physical Therapy, by Titusville Dairy Products Company, by the Meadville Medical Center, Titusville Area Hospital, by Joe Taylor Ford, by the Barking Lot, by Community Connect Federal Credit Union, by the Gordon B. Garrett Funeral Home, by Homerwood, by Clifford's Carpets and Waterbeds, by Vanderhoof Heating and Air Conditioning, by Family Video, and by Corky's Pizza and Subs. And our postseason action here. Our playoff sponsors include Low Scales Elder Law, Protects Your Legacy, Missy's Arcade Restaurant, serving breakfast and lunch daily, and check out their specials, and Precision Transport for all of your transportation needs. Once again, we welcome you here to Meadville the neutral site for this afternoon's game against the Titusville Rockets and the Greenville Trojans. We welcome you to our broadcast. Our crew includes Adam Bodimer, camera operator. Play-by-play, -play, Mr. Gary Barnes. I'm Luke Rio. Gary, welcome to this afternoon's coverage. Thank you, Luke. It's, uh, it's gonna be an exciting game, I feel. Um... It's difficult to, uh, in, in, in the last last couple of games that Titusville Rockets have played, uh, it's kind of difficult to see exactly, um, not necessarily where the strengths are, but um, we, we've seen different phases uh, of the game played out in the last two games. Uh, against the Northeast Great Pickers, I think I mentioned we had the sparkling brilliance of uh, Titusville's forward line and uh, pretty amazing dribbling and passing display by, uh, by uh, the, the uh, Titusville uh, front three players of uh, Ethan Roberts it's Nick Wright and Kate Skinner. And in uh, the playoff game uh, on Monday, uh, it was the defense that uh, really, really stood out. Uh, there was some tenacious, uh, tenacious uh, play by both the fullbacks, uh, Adrian Haynes and Sam Rio. And um, between them, the two center backs, uh, Ethan Zadarko and uh, Derek Beach, basically won uh, everything in the air. If you remember, you know, the ball was played as much in the air as on the on the ground in that, in that particular game. But um, I, but I, a couple of unsung heroes in that game were uh, in the midfield of Cam Cleland and uh, James Titus, who thread together some really neat passing maneuvers for the uh, Titusville Rockets, as well as putting in some tremendous tackles and winning a lot of balls in midfield. And uh, it'd certainly be remiss of me to to uh, not mention the uh, the spectacular goalkeeping that we've seen um, all season, but uh, particularly the the playoff game on Monday of uh, Braden Sprong, who really came up with two amazing match-winning saves to uh, keep the Rockets in the game until Kate Skinner's late winner in the uh, first period of overtime. And that was an exciting game. Just two, It's hard to believe it was just two days ago. It seems pretty fresh in everybody's <laughs> yeah, mind, but yeah. the Rockets are going to have to forget about that game. It's a brand new game tonight, and the Greenville Trojans are tough as they come in here uh, tonight. All right, our coverage will continue right after this timeout. Titusville Rocket Soccer on stream television. We'll be right back.
Hospital Partners, Meadville Medical Center and Titusville Area Hospital together provide a continuum of high quality care across Crawford County. Both create the ultimate patient experience. Every patient, every time. Meadville Medical Center and Titusville Area Hospital are more than a hospital. We are a hospital partner, a community partner, a family partner, and a health partner. So, State Farm will be here to help protect our home. Of course. What about here? Yep. Nice. Yeah. Eh. Okay. Here? Mm hmm. Who wants tinfoil in the microwave? Here? 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 Feels a little awkward. A little. Here? Here, too. It's so cold. Mm hmm. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Anderson Physical Therapy is committed to your long-term health and well-being. With certified licensed therapists, Andersons can provide therapy for all your rehabilitation needs. With offices located at 202 Union Street in Titusville and 118 Main Street, Titty Ute, Anderson looks forward to opening their new location in Cambridge Springs, making it convenient for you to get back to doing the things you enjoy. So stay on top of your game with Anderson Physical Therapy. With convenient locations in Northwest Pennsylvania and online 24-7 at andersonphysicaltherapy.net. The Gordon B. Garrett Funeral Home is dedicated to providing the highest level of service to Titusville and surrounding communities. Our family and staff continues the tradition started by Gordon B. Garrett in 1965, treating our clients with care and respect. Since then, we have grown, now in our third generation and in two locations, 303 North Washington Street and 203 East Main Street, Titusville. The Gordon B. Garrett Funeral Home, a history of tradition and commitment to excellence. Oil Creek Plastics, the industry leader in polyethylene pipe, is proud to be a part of the Titusville community and a proud sponsor of Titusville High School Athletics. Located off Route 27 in East Titusville, Oil Creek Plastics has been a vested part of the Titusville community for 28 years. At Oil Creek Plastics, we take pride in supporting our community and are thrilled to bring instant and slow motion replay to the stream's Titusville Rocket sports broadcasts. In Titusville and here to stay, Oil Creek Plastics, best of luck to the Titusville Rockets. Are you moving at the speed of business? File transfers, multiple locations, video chat. Companies these days are using more data than ever, and it's got to be fast. With gigabit internet from Armstrong Business Solutions, you can keep up with a pack no matter what size your company is. We can provide your business a reliable connection to our advanced fiber optic network with speeds from 100 megs up to 10 gigs per second. Get your business in the fast lane. Armstrong Business Solutions. Your business is our business. And welcome back to the home of the Bulldogs, which happens to be home of the Rockets and Trojans for tonight's game. And uh, Gary, I believe is going to be the uh, home team tonight. Yeah, Titusville's the home team. Uh, second time the home team has been on the road. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we, we seem to be doing a tour of uh, local Crawford and Venango County schools. Well, at least this is now Now the first round, uh, the the higher seed gets the home field advantage. It's just Titusville's uh, field was in no condition to play in on Monday, so we, they moved it to Oil City. And, uh, and tonight least, is more of a neutral site. Yeah, it, it is more of a, a neutral site. I think uh, both teams had to travel equidistantly. Uh, it's a little bit of a shame that it's an early afternoon kickoff because many parents from both teams uh, and family members would be unable to get to the game. Um, but, um, you know, we'll... Uh, we, we, we will do our best to uh, relay it to them uh, on the television, thanks to the aus auspices of your good self. Yeah, well, thank you. Uh, and their uh, introductions right now for the uh, Greenville uh, Trojans. You're getting your starting uh, lineup. Looks like the lottery numbers from last night that I didn't win. Gary? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what, what are you going to do with almost a billion dollars, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank our special uh, postseason sponsors, Los Scales Law Office, protect your legacy. Missy's Arcade Restaurant, serving breakfast and lunch daily and some wonderful specials each day. Precision transport for all of your transportation needs. Our playoff sponsors. Now your starting lineup for the Titusville Rockets. There's your keeper, Gary, Braden Sprong. 
what a wonderful career he has had and yes, what a wonderful year inside the uh, the goal box. Yeah, we patented his, uh, his nickname, the, the uh, Sprung Spring. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take that down to the patent office, you know, for uh, future <laughs> image rights. Uh. I think the weather's going to hold, uh, Gary. Uh, maybe a so. little bit of rain late tonight. Yeah, I, I believe so. But a couple of days ago, we were, it was being predicted that we'd have snow. So uh, I'm glad we don't. As the Trojans are all in white, they would have been uh, camouflaged. I think uh, your accent gives you credibility here on this. Uh, so <laughs> let me ask you, what, is this perfect soccer weather or what is perfect soccer weather? Uh, this is perfect soccer weather, yeah. Uh, you want it a little bit chilly, a slight wind, uh, a, a slight breeze blowing, and, um, you know, it's, I call it breathable weather. Yes. Breathable weather. You keeps know, you young, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, watching these guys keeps me young, or seeing, see, seeing our young players run around actually makes me feel quite old. <laughs> Uh, Nick Wright's coming out. Nick had that wonderful pass to Cade to set up that game-winning goal in overtime. He's, uh, Monday. He, he's got tremendous dribbling ability. Um, you know, sometimes, and, and the thing and, I like about the thing yeah. I like about Nick is that. Um, and we'll pause just a moment for the sure. playing of our national anthem. And there's the playing of the national anthem. And we are just moments away from getting this uh, matchup underway. The Rockets and the Greenville Trojans. Trojans going into a huddle there, giving each other uh, pregame encouragement. Their goalkeeper, Evan Chancy. I, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce the name, C-I-A-N-C-I. -I. But uh, Chance is an interesting name for a goalkeeper. <laughs> and uh, I think Evans possibly the, maybe the, certainly the tallest uh, player for the, uh, for the Trojans. Uh, Gary, this was the game winning goal from just two days ago. Uh, right lovely. to Skinner and just a beautiful, beautiful. I, I, like I say, I think the thing I liked about that goal was that um, Nick Wright was basically distracted. You know, the defenders had to keep an eye on Nick uh, just in case Cade would pass the ball wide to him. And it was almost a slow motion goal. You know, the, the yeah. K did, Skinner did not seem to be any hurry in any hurry at all. He knew what he wanted to do, and, um, you know, it was like the perfect plan that came together as mm -hmm. he uh, basically sidestepped uh, the defender and really calmly passed the ball without any real power. He went for accuracy into the far corner of the goal. And we're about to kick off, and it's going to be the Trojans who are going to kick off. And we have Steve Jansen or Jorson and Colton Osborne over the ball, waiting for the referee's whistle. Jorson, not Jansen. <laughs> Well, benefit for to playing in uh, Oil City is the the Rockets got to play on turf. Yeah, and uh, so they've had some practice on this surface. Skinner battling for the ball there with uh, Ryan Campbell of the Trojans. 
Kate Skinner tries an overhead kick and the ball goes harmlessly out of play and it's going to be a uh, Trojan goal kick. I can tell this is already going to be a physical battle here, Gary. Well, it, it, it was on Monday. It was quite a little bit of uh, pushing and shoving and uh, I'm not expecting, uh, as they say, any quarter to be given. Beach with a pass out. Colson trying to make pass the ball in the middle. Well, the opening 60 seconds has seen uh, the Trojans kick off and uh, not get the ball in Titusville half yet. Well, here they go now. It's a chase. Chase on Ryan Campbell. He's gone to the byline, a nice cross. There's some dangerous play there by Ryan Campbell, who, as they, you say, hit the byline and tried to get the ball across. Unfortunately, he didn't pull the ball back enough, and uh, Braden Sprong made what I imagine is his first save of many of the evening. Here goes Nick Wright. Trying some Titusville tricky wing play. He makes the byline. Goes inside the penalty area, plays the ball across. And oh, so close there. As Campbell signs was closing in on the ball. And uh, offside call. Offside call there against Corey Peoples. The tenacious Adrian Haynes wins the ball back for Titusville. Skinner tries to launch the ball to right. The Greenville penalty area. And now the ball is picked up. Well, it was picked up by the Trojans, but Titus will win it back again. Haynes tries to find Wright, but out of play for a throw in on the far side. Wright chasing the ball down. It's caught offside there, but... Uh, <laughs> No, don't really think he could get back that quick, <laughs> even with those long legs. Well, very early stages of this game, Titus Villa seemingly controlling the midfield at the moment. And uh, just as I say that, uh, Ethan House of the Trojans midfield, wins the ball and uh, ends up in the Titusville penalty area. Braden Sprung is going to launch one. It's an up and under. And under it was Ronnie Mutinelli of the Trojans, but uh, Titusville won the ball back. Roberts now pushes a neat little, nice little passing movement there. And a trip on Nick Wright. It's a lovely back heel in that movement by Corey Peoples then. They do, they do paint some pretty patterns the, uh, on this uh, soccer field canvas, the Titusville Rockets, with their passing game. Oh, but oh! I think Cade Skinner was unsighted when that ball came to him. Kind of blocked off by two uh, Greenville, Greenville defenders. We were told told uh, before the start of this game that the field was uh, just uh, freshly mowed, so. Yeah, <laughs> certainly been freshly painted. <laughs> <laughs> nice ball launched down the wing to Ryan Campbell, who seems to be the uh, one of the danger men for the, for the Greenville Trojans. I'm not sure if Ryan meant that as a shot or a cross, but uh, 
certainly it was dealt comfortably by uh, by Braden in the Titusville goal. Campbell Sines wins the ball, pushes it through to Nick Wright. Nice little back flick. Tries to send Cade Skinner down the right wing. Ethan Roberts is in the middle. Watts tries a wall pass with Skinner. And uh, it's number seven, Cade Davidson for the Trojans who snuffed out the danger. But already we've seen good signs of uh, Titusville's short passing game starting to pay dividends. And uh, ball bounced off the turf, hit Nick right on the arm, and uh, referee on the far side has given a free kick to the Greenville Trojans. Nicely chested down there by Colton Osborne. You know, I know, Gary, when uh, Titusville takes uh, travel teams in the spring down to the Greenville area, those teams are extremely tough down there. Yeah, I, I agree. And uh, again, I, I think it uh, shows the progress of uh, Titusville High School boys team. Just uh, what a what a nice job they've been doing. Certainly Titusville defense seems to be up to the task tonight. That's for sure. Braden may have had more touches in this first 10 minutes than he had <laughs> all of Monday. Yeah, possibly, but there's not really been uh, been a lot of danger there. Most of the balls have been hopeful overhit uh, balls by the uh, by the Trojans so far. But uh, that young man number 10, Ryan Campbell, certainly seems to be the one who's going to try and make things happen for the Trojans tonight. Nick Wright leaps, but uh, the ball goes past. Won by Cade Skinner. Plays it inside, trying to find either uh, Wright or Roberts. In the end, it's picked up by Ethan House of the Trojans, who sends number two, Steve Jawson, away. Jawson crosses the ball inside. Good attempt. He's still going through. Oh, sprung. Well... The ball eventually was bouncing around, and again, Braden Sprong was faced with a one-on-one -on -one situation where if you're a gambling man in Las Vegas, you would bet the attacker to score. But Braden Sprong upsets the odds once more with a truly fantastic brave save. And he blocks the ball, goes out for a throw. And I must have been a prescient commentator because it's gone out for another throw. But Braden sprung to the Titusville Rockets rescue there. And that's the first time that uh, really the in the game so far the Trojans have breached Titusville's uh, defense. Yeah, here that is, uh, that play again, Gary. Yeah, Steve Jawson, who made a lovely run down the wing, tried to find Ryan Campbell, and I'm not sure who came sliding in there, but uh, Ethan House managed to find himself one-on-one wow. -on -one <laughs> with, uh, with Braden, and Braden just looked him in the eyes and said, where are you going to put it? Yeah, <laughs> luckily Beach cleared it. Yeah, there? Okay, I'll put my body there and stop <laughs> it. Speaking of stopping it, that was an unusual stop by Riley Villard there. Usually guys chest the ball, he backed the ball. Adrian Haynes and Peyton Bass uh, taking out the game there. It's, uh, Colton Osborne tries the shot. And for about five minutes of this game, it was all Titusville. And for the last few minutes, really, it's, uh, it's been all Greenville. So I think this game is going to swing back and forth as we go on. Lovely through ball there. It's Steve Jawson with a shot. And, well, first of all, Rio with a tremendous saving tackle. And then... The bravery shown by Braden Sprong to uh, come out and grab the ball on the floor prevents a goal for, uh, 
for the Greenville uh, Trojans. Ronnie Mutinelli with a run, being pursued by Kate Skinner. Colton again, what a shot, and oh, what a save. <laughs> I, I tell you, I, I think we coined that. To, um, oh dear, the uh, <laughs> sprung spring. Well, it was certainly in evidence there. I was sure that was going to be a goal in the top corner. Off. And Greenville come close to opening the scoring there with a header from the corner by Ronnie Mutinelli. Well, Titusville need to start getting a grip on this game again. Skinner chasing the ball. Couple signs. Right, is he going to try a shot? Turns, sets himself up. Turns again. Looking for Kate Skinner, headed away by Jonah Lentz. Corey Peoples now plays it inside to Skinner. Skinner tries to push the ball through, but uh, stopped by Bryce North. Ethan Hose is having a here's Colton again. Now this time he pokes the ball underneath Braden Sprong. There was nothing Braden could do about that. Colton Osborne opens the scoring after a nice through ball from I believe uh, sorry. Actually was that Steve Johnson who uh, scored it? We'll find out in a minute. But he makes a score. Greenville Trojans one, Titusville Rockets nil. Steve Jawson, there you go. Here's going back to that goal, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was a lovely through ball to uh, Steve Jawson. And even though Braden kind of knew what he was going to do, um, he passed the ball under Braden's body for uh, a nice goal. Well, at least from the Trojans' point of view, not from the Rockets' point of view. And again, Jawson's through once more. And Beach was hounding him, but uh, so quick off his line there, Braden sprung. Corey Peoples now chasing the ball down. But Riley Villard knocks the ball up. To Hunter Blatt. Jawson, the goal scorer with the ball. And Peyton Bass with a good interception. Try and set the Rockets off on their way now. Hopeful ball trying to find Skinner. But uh, cut out that time. Adrian Haynes now. Ball taken off him by his fellow opposing number two. Goal scorer Jawson. Here's Ronnie Mutinelli on the left wing. Tries to play the ball inside. Peyton Bass intercepts and Peyton Bass clears. And Trojans have a throw about 40 yards from the Titusville goal. Ball played in the Mutinelli. Nice inside pass to um, Ethan House. House finds Villard. Villard sends Hunter Blatt down the right wing. He's being pursued by Corey Peoples. He cuts it inside, sends the ball across, and a good defensive header, and it was necessary by Adrian Haynes. Titusville on the way now, but no, turn, turn, ball turned over. Blatt inside the house. House going down the right wing. And, oh, 2-0. I was just about to say that um, 
that most of the Trojans attacks where they've had success have come down the right wing there. And uh, Blatt sends a nice ball across, across the six yard box. One of the most dangerous crosses you can have in soccer and it's put away by uh, Colton Osborne. 25 minutes to go here in this first half. Plenty of time left in the game. Folks. Absolutely. Plenty of time left in the game. Kate Skinner chasing the ball down and wins a free kick. Opportunity for the Titusville Rockets here. Not throwing too many men into the penalty area yet. Be interesting to see if Cade Skinner tries a shot here. Lops the ball in, nice ball in, but firmly headed away by Jonah Lentz. Ball comes back into the hands of uh, Evan Chansey. Rio intercepts, takes the ball away from Osborne. Yep, Rio and Osborne again, and once again, Rio. And are reminded that the concession stand does have warm beverages available. <laughs> also, the AA District 10 soccer shirts are on sale by the concession stand. Short sleeve, $15. This probably is the coldest game we've done this year. <laughs> well, we could do with the Rockets game warming up right now. That is true. You notice both of the goals that... Uh, that the Trojans have scored were from relatively close range and just passed along the ground. It's one of the hardest, uh, you know, although it, it's not hit very hard, um, it's one of the, the, the worst shots a goalkeeper can face because the ball's kind of close to you, but you've got to drop your body down quickly onto the ball. And uh, it's almost impossible. Beautiful take by Skinner. I'm not sure how he got his leg up yeah. so high, but he did. Yeah. I think I'd like to see the Rockets. Seems like maybe the a little bit more. There's a lot of little flicks and, and dinks going on, which is great to see. But um, personally, I'd like to see just a bit more forceful running at the moment. Uh, a little bit more aggression from the Rockets, try and get themselves back into this game. There's that attempted through ball from House again. They're finding some success with that, the Trojans. Adrian Haynes makes a good stop. And uh, Ryan Campbell is going to take the throw to House. House tries a break. But the ball breaks away from him. And uh, Braden Strong, Sprung is going to launch the ball downfield. It's a big kick. Well picked up though by Kate Davidson. Peyton Bass now with the ball. So at the start of this game that uh, Titusville were picking up a lot of these loose balls in the first in the first half. Beautiful through ball there from Kate Skinner. Trying to set Nick Wright on his way. Alert goalkeeping, though, by Chansey. Well, Davidson rode his look there with that run, and Peyton Bass gets the ball back for the Titusville Rockets. Every time that uh, number four... Uh, Ethan House picks the ball up. He tries a little dribble and he tries to thread the ball through the Titusville defense. And uh, he's certainly, 
He, he's, he's certainly got his rhythm going right now. Let's put it this way. We're just now halfway through the first half. <laughs> and a shot again from uh, Jowson. And a save again from Sprung. I think the Titusville supporters have arrived. <laughs> Skinner now. Is he going to try a shot? Oh, goes down in the penalty area, and the referee is given a penalty. Well, I thought Kate had taken the ball a little bit far. I thought expecting maybe to shoot or cross it earlier. But uh, the uh, Greenville defender... Um, in my opinion, made a, a silly challenge there. Kick flicked out his leg, which uh, Cade went over, and the referee has given a penalty kick, which Cade Skinner himself will take. There's a chance for Titusville to get on the boards. As long as chance he doesn't save it, it's a chance. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about laughing at my own joke. <laughs> Cade Skinner runs up, and he hammers the ball, and oh, my word! Well, Chancey dived across the ball, uh, across the goal, and, and somehow the ball stuck between his legs. <laughs> it was almost like a, a scissor catch between his calves there. And by the way, you're not sorry for laughing at your own joke. No, this is true. This is true. <laughs> Another right wing cross. Just about dealt with with the Titusville defense. Ryan Campbell with the cross this time. And it's going to be a corner on the left side. And Greenville seems a step or two ahead of the uh, the Rockets today. I don't. Something slightly off, Titusville. Oof. Bra <laughs> Braden goes down again to make the save. Yeah, I think. Um, I think Titusville really need to get a grip in midfield at the moment. That's where they're, they're, they're being really overrun. You know, there's some decent opportunities up front. Defense has been reasonably ha well, but uh, House in particular, number four, seems to be controlling midfield at the moment. Kate okay, Skinner now through, fighting for the ball. But uh, Riley Villard basically blocked him from the ball and allowed his goalkeeper, Chansey, to pick it up. Campbell, back to House. House hitting the ball across, trying to find uh, Osborne, but Titusville clears. Lance with the ball. Titusville got plenty of men forward now. Right with the ball on the right wing and intercepted by Justin Stevenson. Roberts. Signs. And eventually... Eventually, it's Bryce Knopf who comes away with the ball. Sends Jawson away. Haynes is after him. Jawson shoots and Sprong saves. Impressive piece of positioning there by Braden Sprong. And an impressive piece of acceleration by Steve Jawson. Because Adrian Haynes is certainly no slouch. It's going to be a corner kick to uh, the Greenville Trojans. Campbell takes, and really, Titusville defense was caught sleeping there. He was obviously going to play the ball to uh, Jawson on that near post, and nobody in a yellow shirt read it, and that was a definite goal-scoring opportunity. But as it stands, it remains. Trojans 2, Rockets 0. Okay, Rockies seem to be moving with a little bit more sense of urgency. I think they heard what you were saying before, Luke. 
You should try coaching sometime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do? Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> that doesn't mean I know Sunday, anything, Gary. Yeah. That doesn't mean I know anything. <laughs> Riley Villard throws a ball down to Campbell, who does a nice ballet move, but uh, looked good for the cameras, but he didn't take the ball. Ethan Roberts, nice ball to Cade Skinner. Skinner pushes it through to right. Right across to Sines, and Sines is tackled. Peyton Bass with defensive play. Well, Ol Osborne runs through, tries to find um, Chawson. Well defended by Adrian Haynes. 15.30 to go here in this uh, first half. Uh, Campbell goes off to an ovation from the Greenville fans. And on comes Hunter Blatt, who uh, set up the first goal for the, uh, for the Trojans with his right wing cross. Osborne with a long ball, long kick across the, the field. It, uh, picked up by the Tysville defense. Rio ho, ho, hits a high one. And uh, we're playing head tennis again. Right in the middle, tries to turn. See, there was an example there where kind of Nick got the ball, and instead of turning and running forward straight away, uh, he was doing the old, I'll put the foot on the ball and roll it underneath. But um, these defenders from Greenville, they're in straight away. You know, they're well, not waiting for uh, an attacker to make their mind up what they're going to do. They're throwing their bodies and feet in and uh, defending quite. That was a handball, I think. I think the referee heard me. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we have a feed down to him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, these guys, these guys are too quick to kind of dance with the ball, Gary. They, they got to either move or, or yeah. get it and pass it on. Push and move, push and move. There's an old, old tactic. Bass sends the ball in, and Lentz sends the ball out. I, I want to ask you at some point, Gary, because um, this was brought up uh, the other day. The, the game was on, and somebody was watching it, and they were asking about concussions in soccer because all we hear about is concussions in football, but they were watching how many times the soccer players were heading the ball. Yeah. I, well, it, it's an interesting one. I mean, uh, I don't want to bring up all the old fogey stories, but um, like footballs in the old days were made out of, uh, you know, they used to call it a pigskin, yeah? Yeah. So basically the outer coating was leather. And when it got wet and heavy, you know, unlike the, the modern footballs, you know, it uh, increased in weight. Well, soccer balls used to be like that when, uh, when I was at school. And um, you remember, you know, people who've uh, headed these old balls, so to speak, um, used to give me a real headache. I know I had one or two. Um, but uh, just like in the NFL, um, where we've had these old players who've been coming up with these CTEs, um, I know certainly in England and in parts of Europe, some old famous soccer players who used to play centre forward, who'd head the ball a lot, or centre halves, who have passed away um, because of these brain injuries that were not diagnosed until just a few years ago. Shot on for the... Well, I thought it was going to be a shot on. But away come the Rockets. Good tackle there. Uh, by Riley Villard. And from a Rocket point of view, I'm saying too many good things about the players in white and not enough good things about the players in yellow right now. But here's Nick Wright racing down the wing and uh, battling away with Villard. And oh, I thought he'd won the throw, but uh, no, it's a, it's a Greenville throw. And... I was going to say, all I could say was that, uh, you know, I, I think I was maybe fortunate. Shot coming in. And I think Cade would like that one back. 
But what I was going to say was I, I think I was fortunate that um, sort of in my late teen years, uh, the lighter soccer balls came into play. And, um, you know, not, not blowing my own trumpet, I was kind of known as being a good header of the ball. So, uh, <laughs> and it's not affected me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say when you played in the late 1800s? <laughs> Is that what you said? No, the late teens. Late, late, late teens. teens. Late teens. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> My late teens, yeah. So, early teens. Skinner now. Roberts to right. Titusville really need these three to start making something happen uh, up front here. And if if I was a coach, I think I might tell Skinner just to play right on the back line of the uh, of, of the Greenville uh, Trojans. See, we're just we're just hanging onto that ball just a second too yeah. long. Just yes, yeah, so it's just there's no time to set. These guys are these, just they, really these, fast. These Greenville defenders are quick into the tackle. That is certainly for the case. And I think that's the, that's the difference. I mean, certainly our defenders, the Rocket defenders, are all pretty tenacious, you know, in-your-face type of guys. But um, you'll notice that uh, the, the, the Jawson, Colson, and uh, House, basically it's one dribble pass, one dribble pass. Trying to find signs. Price enough with a tackle. Beach being aggressive. That's good to see. Yeah. Beach has just done that a couple times. He just yeah. comes out of nowhere. Yeah. He's hit up field there. Uh. There's a break by Nick right now. Oh, good tackle, unfortunately, for the Rockets there by Kay Davidson, who's made a, quite a, a number of uh, decent interceptions uh, today. Ooh, good passing there by Greenville. Yeah. But, th but there you go. The game. Those were some pretty First long time passes. balls, yeah. Those quickly get you to spread the field, don't they? They're, they're using the wing very effectively, uh, Greenville, particularly their right wing. Speaking of right, oh, well, that was wrong. But again, the passes just need now. to be. Look, he's made like 30 yards there without a challenge. Jawson's trying to make himself a shooting position. He succeeds, but does not really get any power or accuracy into the shot. No, you, you, going back to concussions from what you were saying, um, it's, it, it's kind of in the same stages like in the NFL, if you like. Blats away now, but uh, people's angry he gave the ball away. Buzzes around, around him like a bee and picks the ball up. House with a beautiful cross, trying to find uh, Colton Osborne. Osborne finding Jouse. And the ball just ran away from Roberts, but it's picked up by Skinner. Skinner to right. Roberts making a run. Long ball for uh, Roberts to chase, but I don't think he's going to get that one. But at least Titus will get a throw-in out of it as Evan Chianzi comes out of his goal and kicks the ball out for a uh, Titusville throw. Hunter Titus comes on the field now. Give Nick Wright a rest. Run, ru long run by Mutinelli, but uh, comes to naught in the end. 
Campbell signs. Gets the ball back from Udi Nelly. On the far side, Hunter Blatt. And looks like Hunter Blatt, oh, no, he's, I thought he was going to take the corner kick, but he isn't. But uh, just to conclude on the on the concussion thing, um, it's like the evidence is still really being gathered. You know, uh, I know in our local recreation league, we have a rule where children under a certain age, we don't allow them to head the ball. 37. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, Brayton's been busy tonight. Certainly has. Well, the winner tonight moves on and plays, I believe, on Tuesday, Gary. All right. You mean we get a few days rest, we get a weekend's rest. It is amazing uh, to look down, you bring up the rec program, to look down at some of these kids that have come up through that program. And oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's, we'll be uh, awfully it's proud of uh, how much they've grown. And then we, like, we've been talking the last uh, couple of weeks, just this coaching staff uh, is incredible. Just the experience on the staff is uh, amazing. Shout. And... Chance there for Ryan Campbell, but he snatched the shot a little and uh, hit it well wide. Yeah, it, it, it certainly is. Um, but on the, on the heading, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's technique. If you can teach the kids the proper technique where the, the ball's trying to meet, you know, hit the meat of the forehead, and uh, it's when they kind of misshead it. And... Osborne's through, but Peoples comes back and manages to uh, make a saving tackle. I don't know how many shots that uh, Greenville have had this uh, this half, but uh, it's been quite a few. Four minutes to go in this half. Titusville are just two goals down. There's plenty of time to get back into this game. But they really need to start putting some pressure on this uh, Greenville defense. Well, imagine Which how Northeast felt last week, Gary, down 4 0. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and having to come back from that all in the second half. Well, right through now. Oh, good goalkeeping. Unfortunately, Nick Wright didn't see him. And. Uh, Chancey cleared the ball and uh, also cleared Nick Wright out as well. Yeah. But that was better from the Titusville Rockets. It's a little while since we've seen a dangerous situation in the Greenville penalty area. So that's encouraging for the rest of the half and for the second half. I think it's important. I'm, I'm sure uh, Coach Whalen will be thinking that, uh, okay, we're down 2 0. Just we want to get a goal, but we certainly do not want to concede a third in this half. I thought he was passing to the referee then. Justin Stevenson. Ah. For once, Ethan House misses a play. That kind of last move there kind of sums up Titusville's evening so far, or rather afternoon. Yeah, there's been a couple of things that, uh, some throw-ins that have just haven't gone right. Yeah. To, to me, that just means you're you're not mentally here yeah, right now. Yeah, it's you got to shake that off and get back into the game, as you said, Gary. There's still a whole second uh, half. Danger here! Oof. Well, I think we can give a big thank you for Hunter Titus there clearing the ball off the line. Cade Skinner and Bryce North giving themselves a, each a little love tap there. Hunter Titus picks the ball up in the 
Oh, nice try, nice pass to uh, pass to Ethan Roberts, but Ethan was on his back, on his heels, unfortunately there. Hmm. Titusville didn't seem to know where the ball was then and let Steve, Stevenson just kind of walk through. Well, Adrian Haynes isn't letting uh, House walk through, that's for sure. And for his good work, he wins a throw in. Ethan House trying to play, trying to play that diagonal ball into the Titusville penalty area for one, for one of his uh, attacking plays to run onto. But uh, yeah, less than 20 seconds now. You certainly don't want him to score here. No, oh, and uh, I believe a shot might be coming in. Well, Haynes decided a shot was definitely not coming in, and uh, gives the ball an old-fashioned wallop. <laughs> There's half time with the uh, scoreline not one that the Titusville Rockets would have wanted. Uh, they don't have a goal, and the Greenville Trojans have two. We'll take a quick time out, come back, discuss that first half and uh, what we hope to see here in the second half of play. Postseason action continues. Playoffs brought to you by Low Scales Elder Law. Protect your legacy by Missy's Arcade Restaurant. Serving breakfast and lunch, daily specials. Precision transport for all of your transportation needs. Postseason soccer continues right after this. Whoever said, it's only a dog, never loved the dog. Our philosophy is simple. We treat every dog as if it were our own. And believe us, we spoil our dogs. When dogs are comfortable, they're happy. The Barking Lot in Titusville is ready to make your dog happy by offering grooming services, daycare, and boarding. Call today to schedule an appointment, or better yet, stop in and discover a stranger, crazier, quirkier group of dog lovers at the Barking Lot in Titusville. Community Connect Federal Credit Union is a not-for-profit, member-owned financial institution, and becoming a member is pretty easy. Stop in, call, or visit our website at communityconnectfcu.com and click join to get started. Ask about our money market accounts, low interest loans on new and used vehicles, or start saving for the holidays with a Christmas Club account. Visit us today to get started. We're Community Connect Federal Credit Union, 1050 East Spring Street, Titusville. Nothing says community more than local sports. Cheering on our favorite teams while our young athletes learn about hard work, teamwork, and building character. At Homerwood, community begins with our employees. Those same traits we look for in our athletes are the same characteristics we look for in our employees. And it shows in the quality of our products that we're proud to stand behind and on. From our employees and their families, we say thank you for making us part of your community. Go Rockets! Interstate Pipe and Supply is proud to announce their celebration of 50 years in business. business. Holding true to their motto, service means business, they offer a full knowledgeable staff full fleet of trucks and large product offering. They are not just a plumbing location, but a one-stop shop assisting homeowners and contractors quickly and efficiently. They have been a primary pipe supplier in Titusville for 40 plus years. Good luck to the Titusville Rockets this year and thank you for making Interstate Titusville's premier pipe supplier. Fall and football go hand in hand, just like yards and the products made by steel. At Titusville True Value, we offer a full selection of steel chainsaws, pole saws, leaf blowers, weed eaters, and hedge trimmers to prepare your yard for fun this fall. So get the full lineup of steel's equipment so the chores are out of the way so you can go out to play. Steel, available now at your Titusville True Value. Behind every good project is your Titusville True Value. It's Joe Taylor Ford's 17th anniversary and we are celebrating all month long. 
Get 0% APR for 72 months plus 1,000 Ford credit bonus cash on a new 2018 Ford Escape, Edge, and Explorer. Or get 0% APR for 60 months plus 2,800 additional savings off MSRP on a new 2018 Ford F-150 Super Crew XLT with 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost. Make sure you take advantage of Joe Taylor Ford's top-of-the-line lifetime warranty on all new cars. Joe, Joe Thank you for 17 great years. The Intensive Transitional Care Program at Titusville Area Hospital is a patient-centered, high-quality program for hospitalized patients recovering from illness or surgery who may no longer need to be in a traditional hospital setting but are not yet ready to return home. Regain your independence. Choose the Intensive Transitional Care Program at Titusville Area Hospital, where a high level of care, safety, and satisfaction is our top priority. Visit TitusvilleHospital.org for more information. Titusville Area Hospital more than a hospital. Well, here's a fun game, Gary. What are they saying over there? <laughs> <laughs> Down 2 nil. Five and a half till the second uh, half begins. Well, there seem to be some serious faces over there. Um, I think I think the one thing you can take from that, that half, it's 2-0. Uh, it's um, there's a, another half to go, and it, I think in the minds they the, the Rockets know with if the ball had gone if, uh, been a different way they they could be down by more than two goals. So it's not a, certainly not an insurmountable uh, scoreline to overcome. But the problem they've got, at, I mean, I was talking about that first half, and uh, I thought it was a great five minutes for the Titusville Rockets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but then uh, the Greenville Trojans kind of found a rhythm, and they started to bypass Titusville's midfield with some quick, incisive passing, uh, especially out to the right wing. They found a lot of success on the right wing. Uh, both goals came from crosses from deep on the right uh, across the goal, and both were passed underneath um, Braden Sprong in the Titusville goal, who uh, made an absolutely spectacular save, uh, leaping to his left and pu pushing the ball away for a corner. And, of course, Titusville's biggest uh, chance in that half came when uh, um, Cade Skinner uh, basically was fouled and he took the penalty kick and um, somehow the ball stuck like super glue between the calves of uh, Evan Chiancy, even though he kind of dived, dived away from the ball. Um, here's, here's my uh, coach's speech over there. <laughs> you I'm say gonna, nothing. No, right? no, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to uh, channel my inner uh, Steve Bodemer here right. uh, from the football here. <laughs> yeah. All right. So my, my, my speech to them over there is you're, you're only down 2 nothing. You have a whole 40 minutes to go here. Yep. We can do one of two things. If you've already given up, if you just want to go home, I'm going to sit you and we're going to put some of our younger guys in and get them out there. But the attitude's got to change, and I think that's that's part of it. We we got to pick up the pace here. Yeah, we've got to pick up the pace. And although I, I think the comment I made to you after the first half is that, uh, like a couple of games ago, all the little flicks and tricks worked beautifully. You know, it was like a sort of a diamond necklace being made before your eyes. Right. Here we're seeing pieces of coal. Part of that is and because Greenville is such a, a faster team than the other two teams. They're very we've fast into the tackle. So what I would suggest the uh, for the coach to be telling the midfield players and the uh, and the and the and the forwards is basically push and move, push and move. Okay, get the ball. Don't do a flick on it. Just stop. Pass. Stop the ball. Pass. Stop the ball. Pass. I mean, one of the um, uh, things I do with my kids with the rec center, one of the coaching drills is we play two touch, you know, and essentially that's to kind of teach the kids to stop the ball, 
look for a guy in space and pass it. And certainly um, we've seen evidence of that from Greenville in the first half. And I think that's what Titusville needs to do more, especially to take some pressure off the defense. I mean, uh, the, the back line of Titusville has, uh, has done magnificently. Uh, I think, despite the, the barrage that they're facing. Uh, but they're being pulled out of position by the movement of both the, uh, the, the Greenville forwards and the midfield. And so uh, Titusville needs to start having some good possession and more running of the ball and less, dri less, le less of the dribbling. Problem is, I mean... Nick Wright's had the ball on the right wing a couple of times, and I'm not having a go here because sometimes there's only been like one person in the middle. The right. midfield have got to push up, you know. They, they have to support the attack, and uh, occasionally he's only got, uh, only got Cade Skinner to pass to. So it's... Uh, it's going to be an interesting second half. Well, Fresh 40 is getting ready to uh, yeah. go up on the uh, scoreboard. And second half action just uh, moments away here. The ref's coming out after uh, warming up for a minute. I thought Honda Titus did a nice little cameo when he came on in that, uh, that second half. Uh, he certainly blocked a shot to prevent a third goal coming in. You don't see this very often in high school football, but uh, if I was I was a coach, I would designate one player to follow number four Ethan House around and stick to him like super glue, because uh, he's been the main engine room um, in that uh, midfield for Greenville. He's the one that's really been making them tick. Peyton Bass defending uh, well from Ryan Campbell. Campbell looks as though he's going to leave. No, no, I thought he was going to leave the throw to house, but uh, Jawson chests it, bounces up in the air. Robert sends uh, Skinner away down the left wing. Wright is in the middle waiting for the ball. Wright receives the ball. Colson oh, made a movement now. For yeah, the well, ball. you saw you saw um, Cleland make uh, make a nice right wing run there, and uh, unfortunately the pass to him was cut out. But that's that's more like it. Cam Cleland wins the ball. Looks like Mr. Zadarko in the Is game. It? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, keeping his head warm. Yeah. Looks like Peoples has dropped a left back in this half. Game temperature, by the way, Gary, is a balmy 41 degrees. We, we should be in our bathing suits. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is television. Nobody where, wants to see that. Uh, where, where's the sun umbrella and the martinis? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Just stay sorry, down there, sorry, Adam. Just stay down yeah, there. Yeah, sorry, grape juices. <laughs> That's right. Nice take, Peyton Bass. Skinner with the ball, passes it inside, and unfortunately it's given away. Like I said, I'd, I'd like... You're 2-0 down, things are starting to get a little... Not desperate just yet, but 
Don't stop, turn around, pass the ball back. I'd like to see some surging runs from uh, a couple of the Titusville players. Absolutely. They're certainly capable of it. Cleveland chasing down Stevenson. 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 It's a Dutch name. I never know how to pronounce it. Corey Peoples marshalling the ball inside a bass. And away come the Rockets. And a, unfortunately, a sloppy pass there gives the ball away. Shot coming in. Sprong gets his body behind it, lets the ball hit his chest, lets it bounce safely and just picks it up. Roberts tries to release right. Another thing I'd like to see from the Titusville forward line is a ball gently floated over the defense for somebody to run onto. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was sideways. <laughs> Ethan Sadako. Ethan Sadako again. If you don't succeed, Ethan, there we go. Roberts hits a nice ball outside to Nick Wright, who shoots. Doesn't really get any power behind that one. But that's a encouraging sign. Yeah, absolutely. A little bit more pressure here. We haven't seen that since mm. the beginning of the, the game. When the Titus comes in. Campbell signs. Campbell's putting a good shift there. Did a lot of running around and trying to help get his team back into the game. This Greenville team is very good at trying to find space. There's a case in point. Jowson was through, but uh, fortunately for Titusville, the ever alert goalkeeper sprung, read the danger, got to the ball before Jowson could. But here come Greenville again. Ronnie Mutinelli with a strong run. Fortunately for Titusville, he was running away from the goal. And House. Picks up a throw in. Campbell. Campbell across to Davidson. Now that one, I think Greenville thought they were going to kind of push Beach to the ground. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Beach, Beach's a tough kid. I, yeah. I would try that again, buddy. <laughs> He's the one that kind of got knocked around there. Yeah. Colton Osborne. Scorer of the second uh, Greenville goal. And he's going to take the throw in. And Titusville just let it ball bounce. And the only one attacker that Greenville had in the penalty area picked the ball up. Justin Stevens Stevenson. Mucinelli with the throw. Trying to find Stevenson. Crosses the ball. Sprong reads it well. We'll try and launch another attack for Titusville. Rolls the ball to Cleland. And again, it's being picked up by the Trojans. That's a lovely through ball. 
fortunately intercepted by Bass. But gets a field goal. Yeah, who gets? <laughs> yeah, a field goal for Campbell. But you see the diagonal through ball. It's it's instead of hitting it straight, you know, where you're giving a, a, a defender a chance to get his foot on it. They're hitting the ball at an angle through the Titusville defense and trying to pull the Titusville defenders all over the place. Corey Peebles beats Blatt. And uh, Roberts wins the throw. Well, with a 2-0 lead, Greenville have decided to flood the midfield and just really leave uh, Jowson as a lone point man up front. And so far, the Rockets haven't managed to uh, break through this uh, Greenville midfield this half. Titus now, Nick Wright. Titus in trouble. It's picked up by Osborne. House now with the ball. Look like Try, we had uh, trying to find his winger Blatt, but ball runs out. Midfield mm -hmm. crash. I mean, you're not only dealing with the Trojans, but we're kind of crashing into each other. Yeah, that was a mix up there between uh, Wright and Titus. Roberts, he's doing his best. He's running all over the place. Is Ethan, but he just seems to be finding a one-man battle in the uh, against like a tide of white. <laughs> tide, your detergent of choice. <laughs> I don't know if they'll need much of that today. There we go. Well, we're making ground in throw-ins here. But th that is important, though, and making sure your ball boy is right on, <laughs> <laughs> right on the spot, well, ready to go. You uh -oh. know. Yeah, we don't have the time to waste. See, one Titusville player surrounded by three Greenville players. Midfield. There's that angle ball again. Stevenson to chase, but uh, Zadarko puts the ball out. Lamp. Mutinelli to take the throw. Finds Osborne. Osborne tries to find one of his fellow attackers in the penalty box, but uh, Braden Sprong picks up the ball. And a break on now again for the uh, Trojans. Ball pulled back to Mutinelli. And Mutinelli doesn't quite hit the scoreboard, but it wasn't that far off. Hey, it was caught in the outfield for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> that lucky fan takes yeah. a souvenir soccer ball home with him. Uh, yeah. the Gary Barnes <laughs> bobblehead night here at the stadium. <laughs> Sometimes when the ball's played back, you know, you think, oh, you get a sudden rush to the head, and instead of controlling it first, just lash out, and <laughs> that high ball is the result. Danger man Jowson after the ball. Nice move, good by punch Sprawl. out. B very nice punch out. But here come the Trojans again. Peyton Bass with a terrific tackle there. Mm. I think they're trying to move Peyton up a little into midfield rather than defense to try and make some inroads. But Blatt to Mutinelli, back to Blatt on the left wing, being chased by Zadarko. Zadarko's long legs win out.
Oh, Kate Skinner's on the halfway line. Uh, sorry, um, Nick Wright's on the halfway line waiting for a long punt. Here it comes. Aim towards Skinner. Half cleared by uh, Lentz. Bass with the ball. That's not the ball, Peyton. <laughs> That's definitely not the ball, Peyton. Here comes Osborne. He's overrunning wow. now. And Sprong reads the danger beautifully. Times his dive to perfection. And it's almost boring, isn't it? Makes another save. <laughs> Was it the uh, late 80s or 90s that had the no fear shirts? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that kid is just incredible to watch. Yeah, very brave. No fear whatsoever. Yeah, perfect timing. But again, Titus for creating their own problems there. You know, needless back pass when we need the ball at the other end. Uh, this is, again, I'm, I'm not going to harp on, uh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> if, if your head's not in the game right now, you're out. I would pull yeah. you out, let you kind of reset some things. Redial. Redial. Yeah. yeah. But it's like, <laughs> you don't even touch the ball and you've already kind of given up on it. I just, I, I yeah, the, you, you the worry playoff, a little bit about heads going down at the moment, don't you? <laughs> you yeah, know? there's no re as you've been saying, there's still a lot of time 25 mm. minutes on the clock. Yeah. <laughs> okay, boys, get that ball, Skinner. Obviously, it was listening. He got it, but uh, Lentz was in strongly. To well, I wasn't with the ball that again. Yeah. Oh, in the face. Cleland. But stuck with it. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Nice move. Oh, that's a beautiful goal. That is just a beautiful goal by Steve Jorson. Again, a Titusville deep midfield is bypassed. The ball just. See what I mean about the, the the little hot ball over the top? That was slightly lift, listed, and this time he got to the ball before Braden sprung, and uh, basically read what Braden was going to do. And you notice he didn't shoot; he just brushed the ball with his toe, just let it bounce off a little bit, have a hop, into the corner of the net. That's his second goal of the night. And uh, it's Greenville Trojans three, Titusville Rockets zero. There's a, str there's a spring in the st spring in the step of the. Uh, see, that's what I want to see. Uh, yeah. Beach running hard. That's great. Yeah. You got you got some players. I mean, really playing hard. I'm not. I'm not saying that they aren't. There's. Uh, there's just a couple situations. It's like, all right, don't give up. Well, Roberts is certainly running hard, but you've got to find a man. That's better. Skin it right. Right through. Strong tackle. By Knopf. But it was all a little tight through the middle, you know, instead of somebody making a run out to the wing and then going for a return pass. The move eventually founded on a phalanx of white shirts. Jowson again. Look at Jowson move. He's on a hat trick. 
but he, he runs into the back of Ethan Zadarko. But uh, you can tell that Jousen and Osborne have played together before. The number 10 and, uh, sorry, um, Campbell and Jousen have played before. Cross comes over. Ryan Harcourt with the ball. Puts it across. Excellent goal, goalkeeping game by Braden Sprong, who just completely ignored the studs that were coming flying towards his face there. He's going to be one of those players that uh, you're going to miss watching uh, next year. Braden the senior. Braden the senior, yeah. That was a foul. Okay, that's a nice ball by Peyton Bass. That's the kind of angled pass that we've been seeing time and time again from uh, the Trojans and not enough from the Rockets. Nice Hunter Titus goes Kate. in and uh, Hunter plays a bit of basketball there. Jonah Lentz is going to take the kick. He's been quite firm in the Greenville defense whenever Titusville have got through. We've seen a lot of uh, Mr. Rick Shrout. Yeah. Still enjoying <laughs> this after all these years. Well, the way he's running, I don't know if he's enjoying it at the moment, but that's <laughs> sorry, Rick, I didn't mean that. Yeah, he's been a fine ambassador for the sport for many, many years. Yes, he has. More Not just on the field as a ref, uh, but also as a coach. Uh, and a player. And a player. To be. I tell you what, Bass is, uh, since moving up out of defense, he's really been putting himself about in that midfield, and he's been quite tigerish. Nice cross. Mm. Okay, Titusville have got a corner The Peyton Bass will take. Might as well throw all the men forward now, boys. Under 20 to go. Down 3-0. And it's disappointing corner as the ball sails out of play. Peyton wishing he could have that one back. Just under 20 minutes to go for a roaring Titusville Rocket comeback. When the Titus goes off, Cam Cleland comes back on. Peoples has been impressive in the second half. It's a sort of switching position. Eric Beach tries to launch one. <laughs> nice move, Cade. <laughs> yeah, that was really cool. That's it. Yeah, that's better, much better. Got the fans going, at least. Yep. Zadarko's obviously warmed up. The hat's come off. <laughs> <laughs> That doesn't take long once you get moving out there, does it? That's true. <laughs> Still got a lot of time. Our camera guy has only lost feeling in his left hand. Still <laughs> <has his> <laughs> Whoa! 
I thought that Campbell was going to uh, cross that ball, but I, I think that was a sh really hard shot. Sprung parried up into the air before catching it cleanly. Dick Wright showing, showing us his magic feet. Ethan Zadarko showing us his magic feet. And his magic uh, push that uh, the referee lets go as Greenville still have possession of the ball, playing advantage there. Yeah, that one was <laughs> yeah. a big... <laughs> You got lucky there. Yeah. Uh, Greenville. Uh, <laughs> Greenville is starting to pass the ball around the Titusville. A rather tired looking Titusville side at the moment. And Greenville playing with the vigor and enthusiasm of a side you would expect that he's three goals to the good. Much different picture than that uh, ending picture we saw Monday where they're all uh, huddled together on the bench, big smiles after that uh, overtime win. Well, that's sport for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gary. <laughs> I'm all depressed now. <laughs> nice hustle. Get the laurels of victory one day and uh, <laughs> ignominy, ignominy of defeat the next. <laughs> <laughs> Cleveland, uh, ball pushed away by Knopf. Skinner playing a lot deeper now, trying to launch some counter attacks. Ethan Roberts now, fouled by uh, Bryce Knopf. And it wouldn't surprise me if somebody's going to take a shot here. But no, a quick one taken by uh, Peyton Bass. Trying to find Nick Wright and Cam Cleland, but uh, it's a throw in for the Titusville Rockets on the near side. And because I've been giving Corey Peoples praise, off he goes. <laughs> Coming down to the final 15 minutes, Gary. Time can be a uh, you know, elastic concept. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of time to score, three goals or more. Hey, we heard your theories on concussions. Why not, why not time? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> For science education, come to Titusville Rocket <laughs> Soccer Commentaries. Now you are a chemist. I mean, this is true. <laughs> Two number twos battling it out. House. Being chased by three rocket players who managed to snuff out the danger there. I've been impressed clear with the ball. Greenville's positioning, but not surprised. Uh, like we talked earlier, Gary, we take spring travel teams down to Greenville. Um, Greenville, very tough teams down there. Uh, Kinzu area, very tough teams. Uh, yeah. A lot of these kids play year round. Yeah, and you know, I think it shows, doesn't it? I think it shows. We've seen some very impressive performances tonight uh, from the Trojans. Um, Jawson, uh, I've I've been quite impressed by. He scored two goals, and he's just been a nightmare to defend against. You know, as he kind of picks the ball up in the hole, as we say, kind of the gap between uh, uh, defense and midfield and lays it off, turns, and he, he runs like a jackrabbit waiting for a return ball. Number 10, Campbell, has been very effective. Uh, the other goal scorer, Colton Osborne, number five, who's uh, going to take the throw, I think, has been, uh, has been very good. Um, the star performer for me has been uh, Ethan House, uh, number four. He's just controlled the game. 
and um, when Titusville have managed to uh, to break through, um, Davidson and Lentz at the back, and Villard and Knopf have been uh, been baking, breaking uh, Titusville attacks like waves crashing across a uh, an ocean barrier. And then when we did have the good chance to score, um, goalie Evan Chancey uh, came up trumps with the penalty save. I think from Titusville's point of view, um, man of the match, uh, Titusville has been Braden Sprong, who uh, I've no idea how he made that save in the first half. Yeah. And uh, the one where he went flying to his left. I mean, the kid doesn't look tall enough to... <laughs> to get he, there. Well, like he, I say, we've got he, the strong spring in action. Yeah, and he's been doing that all season. I yeah. mean, the, the kid's incredible to watch, a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. Um, you know, and as we get closer to the 10 minute mark here, uh, and you're starting to realize the season is probably coming well, to an end for Titusville. And, and as, we, as we mentioned, Sprong, he makes another superb save and makes it look ridiculously easy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is going to be, uh, this could be it for the, uh, the seniors. Sure. And, uh, you know, and again, a lot, of, been, a lot of talent. Yeah. I mean, uh, Skinner's tried hard without any luck. Um, Roberts has been putting himself all over the place without much success. Oh, look, another shot and another save. Well, these are the seniors we'll be yeah. saying goodbye to, Nick uh, Gary. Yeah, uh, yeah. Braden Sprong, uh, Adrian Haynes. He's been, uh, he's, been, he's been good tonight, Adrian. I've been impressed with him. Uh, Cade Skinner. And there goes Adrian chasing uh, Jawson. They're just positioned very well, Gary. They are. They've been. They're getting everything. Yeah, and, and unfortunately, some of the heads are going down for the uh, for the Rockets. Ten minutes ago, they're three down. They they're still fighting hard, but uh, they've been closed down at every every step. Uh, Peyton Bass, senior. Peyton on the ball now. Tristan, Tristan Riley, Corey Peoples. Yeah. Yeah, Corey's had a good game. Uh, Darius Preston. Crawford, Preston Westcott. Yeah, all good squad players. Yep, and uh, Tristan, Tristan Campbell. Yeah, they've all contributed to the success. And let's not let's not dwell on the fact that we're 3-0 uh, down in this game. This is the second playoff game that uh, the Rockets have had. And uh, I don't know, in my knowledge, that... Um, a rocket side has ever gone this far. I could be wrong because I've not upon the history, but well, uh, I think I. Th but it's. Uh, I, I just want to emphasize. You know, this has been a, a very, very successful and enjoyable season. Sure, absolutely. You know, and it's certainly not defined by, uh, you know, what looks as though it could be a playoff defeat by an extremely well-organized and, uh, and talented team that we've seen here tonight. Uh, the exhibition that's been uh, from five minutes onwards, I might say. Athletic <laughs> the, director uh, uh, Scott Salvo throwing the ball in. Yeah. Or not. <laughs> Rolling it down to the <laughs> corner. Right. He's all excited there. And so he should be. This is an exciting group of players. That was an exciting challenge by Ethan Zadarko. I think the, I think the referees explain some of the finer points of the rules of <laughs> etiquette to uh, Ethan there. Yeah, he should have turned around. Yeah, it's a oh, uh, just sails wide. Glorious chance there. Glorious chance for a fourth goal. If that had gone of. Uh, Inside the post, I don't think that uh, Braden would have managed to get across to it. But <laughs> there were two Greenville players who had an opportunity to head that ball in. Again, we got the nice flicks going. Chase on for Adrian Haynes. Nice strong running from Nick Wright. We needed to see more of that tonight. Good 
Adrian's forsaken his defensive duties and decided he's going to be a goal-scoring centre-forward hero. Except that it's, I think a foul throw has been given. Probably uh, is a bit shocking, Gary, as it starts to settle that time's running out and this is your last time, if you're a senior, your last time out here as a Rocket. Oh, yeah, there's definitely a lot of emotion. You know, Oof. that was a leap by, leap by Lentz. So we've had the... We had the sprung spring. Now we've had the Lentz leap. Too many straight balls, not enough angled balls. Well, this Greenville team has just dominated since about, what, the 35 minute mark in the first half? Yeah. I haven't been keeping count, but I'd, I'd like to see the number of shots that uh, have been fired at uh, Braden Sprong this evening. Uh, Ethan Roberts picks up the ball. Nice turn, but unfortunately gets picked up by Toby Williams for the Trojans. Haynes going through. Wins a corner. No, no, not quite. Mm. As we're near the end of the game, I've got to say this. If, if my voice is going because I've been shouting too much, does that mean I've got a Trojan horse? <laughs> I, wish you, I, wish you to, I wish you would have saved that for the last second, Gary. I could just shut you off. <laughs> Nice pick up there. James Titus finding all the way. Cade Skinner. Plays the ball back nicely to uh, Braden. Braden out to Ethan. Ethan Sadako. There we go. Uses his um, <coughs> strength to try and get the ball. The referee decides on fairly definite nice. chance on for hmm. Braden still got well, up yeah. and got to the ball. <laughs> yeah. I was say definite chance there for Campbell, but uh, four and a half. Referee picked up a, uh, a handball by the Greenville player. Bass in midfield. Plays it as a Darko. But uh, picked up by House. Peyton Bass again. Tries to play the ball through Stevenson. And we got four minutes left to play, Luke. Well, uh, just a couple things. I want to thank uh, Adam Bodemer, our camera operator. Uh, Amy Rio has also helped this season. Uh, Gary, I want to thank you. Uh, like you have done a, a beautiful job. Thank you, Luke. And uh, I'd just like to say that uh, I think the whole Titusville community benefits from the work that you and your TV station do, not just for the soccer program, but all of the... Uh, Titusville uh, sports programs um, it gr brings a great deal of pleasure to the community and of course all the other activities that you get well, involved you. with your uh, new stream service. Well thank you. I also want to thank... And, uh, uh, and the check's in the post now is it? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to adjust it now after those kind words Gary. I wasn't expecting that. I uh, also want to thank our uh, broadcast partner yeah. uh, Armstrong yeah. uh, for uh, supporting what we do and uh, airing these games. In fact this one will uh, air on uh, Friday 
Friday, uh, but always available on demand at our YouTube channel, and you can visit streammedia.tv and hit the uh, YouTube uh, link there, the icon, to get right to our YouTube channel, and you can watch us over and over and over and over to Gary's uh, velvet tones calling all these wonderful soccer matches over the years. I don't know about velvet tones. Some people have called it sandpaper tones. No. Rough. And, and, and by the way, thank you for all of the traveling you've done. I mean, flying in and out just to be uh, here know, for these uh, games. Yeah, those, those folding those parachutes back up is, is, is <laughs> it's a difficult you know, uh, challenge, I know. Yeah. Well, Gary, uh, about two minutes before they uh, shake hands here, uh, just your thoughts on uh, the games you've gotten to see this season. I've been very impressed by the enterprising play of the uh, the Titusville Rocket team in that no matter if they've won or lost, they're always trying to play soccer in what I call the right way. They're not just kick and rush. It's not just booting the ball upfield and people chasing it. They're always trying to uh, develop a short passing game, create triangles, and uh, work their way upfield. And uh, sometimes it's been spectacularly successful, and occasionally, sometimes you meet uh, you meet teams such as this evening. And remember, this is the second round of the playoffs, who uh, also kind of have a similar philosophy, and sometimes can execute it a little better on the night. But um, it's been a tremendous program. Uh, coaches deserve uh, a lot of credit. And we've got some uh, young talent. I know we're losing a lot of seniors this year. Yes. But um, we've got a good future. You know, there's a lot of young talent that's coming through. Good point. Uh, we see some of that talent developing through the, uh, the Titusville Recreation Program. And uh, we see the fruits of that uh, that grounding, that upbringing, uh, being brought to not only the boys' uh, high school team, but also the girls' high school team. Well, if you're enjoying soccer, maybe you're here. Uh, there's another match, I believe, right after this one. They're going to try to get a few in, uh, which is why this uh, game started so early. But uh, lots of uh, postseason soccer in store for Northwest Pennsylvania over the next uh, week and a half. As we count down the last few seconds of the Titusville Rocket soccer season, I just want to reiterate what a uh, uh, the pride and the joy that these young men have brought to our city. Absolutely, absolutely, and that is the final three nil as Titusville falls to the Greenville Trojans here at the Barco Durats Athletic Complex in Meadville, Pennsylvania, the neutral site of today's battle between the Rockets and the Trojans as they uh, shake hands. The Titusville Rockets say goodbye to uh, their season and they say goodbye to these seniors, Braden Sprong, uh, Adrian Haynes, Cade Skinner, Peyton Bass, uh, senior Ethan Zadarko, Tristan Riley, Corey Peoples, Darius Crawford, Preston Westcott, and uh, senior Tristan Campbell all wrapping up their soccer careers with the Titusville Rockets here tonight. And as you were saying, Gary, something to, to be watch. very proud something of. Something to be very proud of, um, you know, the skill sets of, of the, these 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 boys has been a joy to behold. It really has. We want to thank you for joining us all season long. The uh, postseason games here brought to you by Los Scales Elder Law. Protect your legacy by Missy's Arcade Restaurant, serving breakfast and lunch, and they've got daily specials every day. Stop in and find out what they are. And by Precision Transport for all of your transportation needs. Those are our playoff sponsors, and we thank you so much for allowing us to do what we love doing, and that's covering these high school games. For Adam Bodemer, Gary Barnes, I'm Luke Rio. Thank you so much for joining us, our regular season sponsors this year. Thank you for uh, supporting us, not just in soccer, but of course, uh, football. And they include the following. State Farm Insurance, by Oil Creek Plastics, by Interstate Pipe and Supply, by Larry's Auto Service, by True Value Hardware, by Armstrong, by Anderson Physical Therapy, 
by Titusville Dairy Products Company, by the Meadville Medical Center, Titusville Area Hospital, by Joe Taylor Ford, by the Barking Lot, by Community Connect Federal Credit Union, by the Gordon B. Garrett Funeral Home, by Homerwood, by Clifford's Carpets and Waterbeds, by Vanderhoof Heating and Air Conditioning, by Family Video, and by Corky's Pizza and Subs.